Want to give your dog a dapper makeover? How about making an easy bow tie that attaches to any collar? For supplies, you'll need a fat quarter of quilter's cotton, about a quarter yard of lightweight fusible interfacing, a couple inches of sew-in hook and loop fastener, and thread. For tools, you'll need scissors, pins and needle, iron, ruler, fabric marker, flexible tape measure, and your sewing machine. You'll also need your dog's collar to use for reference. First, we'll make the bow section. Take your finished desired bow height and multiply it by two, then add a half inch for seam allowance. Do the same thing for your desired finished width. I'm doing a bow tie for a medium sized dog, so I want a finished height of two inches and a finished width of four and a half inches. That means I'll cut out a rectangle that's four and a half inches by nine and a half inches. Use your ruler, fabric marker, and scissors or rotary cutter to cut out a rectangle in your fabric and interfacing. Apply the fusible interfacing to the wrong side of the fabric rectangle. Fold in half widthwise with right sides together matching the two long raw edges. Pin this edge. Sew a quarter inch seam allowance at your sewing machine. Press your seam open and turn the fabric tube right side out. Press flat so the seam line runs down the center of the tube. Now fold in half lengthwise so the previous seam line is on the outside. Pin the short raw edges and sew a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the seam allowance open and flip so the seam allowance is on the inside. Press flat so the newest seam line is in the center. Put some thread on a hand needle and put a knot at the end. Take your bow, pinch it in the center with the seam line in the back. Hand sew stitches through the folds in the center of the bow to hold the pinch. Next, we'll do the strap. Measure the collar width and multiply it by eight and add a half inch for seam allowance. My collar width is one inch, so my number for this is eight and a half inches. This will be used for the strap length. For the strap width, take whatever you want your finished knot width to be and multiply it by four. I want my knot to be three quarters of an inch, so three quarters times four is three inches. From my fabric, I'll cut out a piece that's eight and a half inches by three inches. On both short ends of the strap, turn a quarter inch to the wrong side and press. Then fold the rectangle in half widthwise wrong sides together and press to create a center crease. Take each long side and fold to the center crease and press. Fold in all the creases and you end up with a strip that's the same width as your finished knot width. Take the strip to your sewing machine and edge stitch on the two long sides. Fold the strip in half lengthwise and put it around the collar. Fold it over so the two ends overlap each other. This will give you your placement for each side of the hook and loop fastener. Cut your fastener so it fits in the overlapped area. My fastener is only about a half inch big. Unfold the strap and pin the fastener in place. At your sewing machine, sew around the perimeter of each side of the fastener. If your machine can handle it, edge stitch the two strap ends together. Slip the bow between the straps. Attach the strap to the collar to center the bow. Add straight pins through the strap on either side of the bow to hold it. Stitch across both layers of the strap at the pins. Don't forget to back stitch. Now your bow tie can be slipped onto all your dog's collars or make several that can be swapped out for different looks. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.